Hey, what's up, everyone? Today, we're going to be talking about Jumia stock and the just released earnings report. In this video, I will summarize the report and talk about what this might mean for the stock and the company. Also, if investing in companies in Africa like Jumia interests you, definitely consider subscribing to the channel. I'm going to be focusing on lots of African companies as the continent continues to emerge. So first of all, in my opinion, although not perfect, the earnings report was actually pretty good and gives me a lot of optimism for the next few years. And I would like to hear what you guys think, so definitely like the video and comment below if you agree. Before I go over the numbers here from the report, also take note that Jumia's biggest priority, which they have been extremely committed to, is achieving net profitability and the biggest change they recently made to make this happen was to cut off all the products that they were actually manufacturing and selling on their platform which are called first party products and is similar to the types of products you might see on Amazon that is actually manufactured by them like you can see here and they shifted that focus entirely on growing third party transactions which has much better margins. The highlights from the earnings report starts off with gross merchandise value, or GMV, being 231.1 million euros, which is up quarter over quarter by 23%. GMV was down year over year because of the transition they made from first party to all of third party. Gross profit increased year over year by 12% to 27.9 million. Gross profit after fulfillment expense was 8.4 million euros, which is up from 1 million same quarter last year. Sales and advertising expenses were down 34%, and general and administrative costs were down 36% year over year. EBITDA loss was only 28.3 million, which is down 47% year over year. Jumia Pay total payment volume, or TPV, was up to 59.3 million, which is a 30% increase year over year, and also accounted for around a fourth of their GMV value in the past quarter. The company highlighted their Black Friday campaign in November, which occurred over the course of four Fridays. And as, I, as you can see here, it was wildly popular and extremely successful for the company, and they got quite a bit of interaction with their platform. They also discussed Jumia Advertising, which they started in 2020 and have gotten 370 advertisers with this campaign. And also Jumia Logistics, which is essentially shipping packages, which I definitely think is a wise move for expanding into the continent. Another thing I liked from the report is that the CDFR rate, which stands for cancellations, failed deliveries, and returns, was down from 30% to 25% between 2019 and 2020. So that's good for their margins. But going back to purchase volume for Jumia Pay, I was really encouraged by the numbers they showed, with TPV up 58% year over year, from 124.3 million in 2019 to 196.4 million in 2020. Revenue was down again this quarter, about 15.3% compared to the same quarter last year. But this was better than expected and in line with their adjustment they made to the platform, which in the short term has cut into revenues. But the fact that GMV is going up suggests the revenue will soon follow. Marketplace revenue was in fact up year over year, so that's really good and clearly showing that their platform is growing. But then we talked about in the highlights, but EBITDA loss down 34.6% is a huge positive year over year, and operating loss down 34.5% year over year is also very good. And last but not least, the company has 304.9 million in cash as of December 31st, 2020. So that is a, not a huge amount of cash, but a decent amount. And they will likely have to raise more at some point before they reach profitability. So looking at the report in general, I really am encouraged by the path to profitability. And to me, it makes a lot of sense to direct so much attention on this because the African market is growing, but it's still very unstable and has a lot of variables. So once Jumia achieves profitability, the company will be a lot more secure in their long-term mission to become the biggest e-commerce platform in the continent. Now, as for the stock price, they are currently trading at a valuation of around $4.21 billion. And while it's a big premium, the company deserves it, in my opinion, because the potential for them to tap into Africa's growing market is huge. If and when Jumia reaches profitability, I expect there will be a serious jump in stock price. And I would also expect to see a big increase if their path to profitability is accelerated in the first quarter of 2021 as the COVID-19 trends fade away and Africa's economies are able to shake off the past year. So these are things all to look for. But with that being said, thanks so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed, consider subscribing to this channel and liking the video. And I hope to catch you next time.